All right, guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna be replacing our thermal paste in our KS0 Pro with this MX6 Arctic uh, thermal paste. We will be doing the uh, heat sinks installation for our overclocks, all right? And we'll be using this thermal uh, glue for installing these heat sinks on MOSFETs, okay? And uh, in order to do that, we're gonna remove all the six screws. I already removed that. It's a number two Phillips screwdriver. You take this out. You carefully take this plate. And also I already removed these sockets from the fans, okay? So I pulled it out just to keep it away from uh, next step. And then also I removed these eight screws. That's Phillips number one. All these eight screws from that holding the board into place so now we are ready to lift this board carefully and slowly and now we can replace this six chips here and six chips here all 12 chips paste thermal paste so we need to clean this all up uh, clean the paste from here and get ready for the new thermal paste so we'll get some uh, paper towels and uh, get, let's get ready all right so we're back and clean these chips uh, really well clean this uh, area of the uh, of our cooler so it's that pink stuff is really annoying but uh, you gotta take your time and uh, remove it as much as possible and make sure these chips are super clean on the top okay so don't overdo it but try to remove as much as possible of that pink stuff all right and it's going to be ready for our set now we're going to make sure how we're going to put the board back so the way i remove these connectors from here so i'm going to keep it the same way i'm not going to flip it this time and we're going to place it just like this and we'll apply this uh, arctic mx6 thermal paste in each of this chip we don't want to apply it here because it's going to be impossible to basically calculate that properly for each chip location so what we're going to do is just going to put a little bit of on the middle of this chip little dots right there hard to do it perfect but just make sure you put enough paste not too much just a dot on the middle of this chip okay after we're done with that, what I'm gonna do is, actually I don't like this one right here. I'm gonna clean just a little bit on the side here. Where I spread a little extra stuff. All right, didn't make it better, but just try to keep as clean as possible. And let's see, I think I didn't get enough on this chip. So make sure you have a dots there on the chip, all right. So it looks like I got them all covered pretty much. And what we're gonna do is just flip it over and carefully place right against our holes, screw holes, just right over there. All right. And we're ready to put the screws back on with number one Phillips. And we're gonna just go ahead and do individual screw in opposite corners. And that's how you replace 
your uh, thermal paste. So we're gonna be on the next phase. I'm gonna finish the screws and we're gonna be ready to put this four, uh, on four of these chips, MOSFETs, these heat sinks right over those sinks. Now, I did order different ones on Amazon. They're longer, but they're running out of stock pretty quickly. I don't know, everybody's probably buying them. So these guys are six by six by five. The other ones, but double as tall. I think gonna have a, lot, a little better uh, heat circulation or heat distribution. So this will fit, I think, nicely as well. We'll see. Okay, I'll finish first and we'll come back after I screw this board back. Okay, I almost done. I'm gonna just tie it uh, randomly corner to corner in different directions, cross an opposite corner and then we're gonna change from this corner to this corner probably not much matters because they're spring loaded and they're kind of far away okay So we are ready for our heat sinks, I guess. Yeah, this one left. We don't want to over tighten this stuff, but also be sure to tighten back all the way. All right, so next step, we'll get four of these guys. out of the package here. And uh, make it ready to go, but I need to get this little, this thermal glue came with a little spreader. Let me get a little plastic and a knife. Let me go get it. All right, so it came with this little spreader knife. So we'll see how it works. First, we gotta open this by pressing on the other side of this cover. All right, and this is the glue just start to coming out. It's white color, hope you guys see it. So we'll do apply, we'll just get a little bit on this knife and apply to this. Where should I apply? What do you guys think? Probably just apply a little bit on this um, heat sink. We'll be just doing this way right there. Uh, right about there. You guys see it right here? How much I applied of it? Okay. Now we're going to be putting right into the Carefully. And we're gonna press it down. I don't know how long it takes usually to, there's no instruction with this glue, probably have to read online. We're gonna need to give it a moment to, for the glue to set probably, this thermal glue. So I'm gonna press it down, make sure it's on the middle of the chip and do for all four of them. Probably don't need to put a lot, just a tiny bit so it's basically um, covers all the surface of this heat sink. And the last 
last one. All right, so looks like um, the all four of them in place. It's not perfectly straight, maybe. Let's try to align a little bit and press it down so the glue can set. So we don't leave a lot of glue between and it's spread out evenly. Just apply a little bit of pressure all right i think right about there what do you guys think did they cover the chip entirely yes probably all good i'm gonna fix a little bit the first one seems to move a little bit away think right about there so um, yeah I think I'm happy with that application so let's uh, set it all back we'll connect the fans back and I'm gonna connect back my um, of course in the last step in this process is just to connect your uh, put your screws back together on your plate after you connect your fans now I did not solder my connector I totally forgot when I removed the plate I'll be doing on the next one and we'll compare the temperatures between the one that I have connector welded and the one that I just gonna use connector five and a half by two and a half millimeters. I don't like those connectors, but we'll, we'll get the comparison and probably I'm gonna weld this one later. So we'll tie the screws all the way around. And this one, we're gonna use a two mil, I mean, number two Phillips, which is gonna do tight a little bit with the smaller screwdriver and then finish. Finish it off and tighten nicely down. All right, and they will be ready for our testing. that's pretty much it for this video I wish I did uh, solder this uh, setup connector with the XT60 because I really like this connector is much better than using five and a half by two and a half millimeters so we'll do that in the next video I guess and we'll test to compare these two machines uh, this is gonna be my number one K0 Pro 1 ready to go and we'll see you guys on the next one i think that's it for this video i think you've seen it before it's not really hard to replace the um, thermal paste and to connect these little guys and they come five and ten pieces uh, sets so if you have more than one machine you can order like quantity as you need it uh, for these heat sinks all right we'll see you on the next one and have a good day